Good evening, this is Donald the Repentless for the Repentless News Brief. Tonight, I read this article on KUTV.com. There will be a link in the description to, for the article. FLDS people reportedly brace for apocalypse on Wednesday. I can safely report that there has been no gel wall crumbling earthquakes today. Both Warren and Lyle Jeffs are still in prison at the time of this recording. This isn't the first time that Warren Jeffs has pronounced prophecies from prison that later turned out to be false. I will read just a part of the article. It's a second. Tanya Toole, I'm not sure if that's, if that's how it's pronounced, Executive Director and Founder of Holding Out Hope, Holding Out Help, a group that helps about 200 people escape from polygamy every year, said she too has heard about the end of the world prophecy and feels confident Warren Jeffs sent that message to his followers from his Texas prison cell. Now, the second article I link in here is is an article about that. In fact, he, he I think he's today, even today, in 2016, continues to send out these regular revelations and so forth, which his followers have put together into a book called Message to the Nations. Now, returning to the article, I think it's very convenient that April 6th is the day of the is the apocalypse. Said tool. Now, for those of you who of you who are not familiar with LDS history, April 6, 1830, is when Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery, along with a group of about 30 members, founded the Church of Christ, which would later adopt the name Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So this date is a significant one for the FLDS faithful. The article also suggests that this prophecy was sent out as a way to garner funds for the legal defense of Lyle Jeffs, who was being charged with welfare fraud. This includes, at least in part, funneling of food stamps through church-owned businesses to pay for church expenses. Now, you can read the article for yourself, the one on KUTV.com, but as an, an amateur historian who spent years researching the range of churches within the Latter-day Saints slash Mormon movement, the FLDS church is one of the worst of the bunch. Not only using brainwashing, but intimidation and fear to control the church, and using the same tactics to try to silence critics of the church, Jeffs has pushed out many young men from that church, these, these boys are called sometimes the Lost Boys, in order to ensure that he and the older leadership of the church have no competition for the affections of the limited number of young women in the church. The last part of the article is an excellent summation of why I'm covering this story and why I think it needs to be covered more widely than it has been. Tool knows that after Wednesday, many FLDS will remain will still fiercely loyal to Warren Jeffs. She hopes others who may ask questions will be strong enough to walk away and find meaningful lives on the outside. Quote, I just hope they wake up and see Warren is not a true prophet, quote unquote, said Tool. I plan to cover news in general, so if you like a different take on the news, give this video a thumbs up, share it on social media, leave a comment, and subscribe. This is Donald the Repentless signing off for the Repentless News Brief.